Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to talk a little bit in de depth on um, field calculator that is a very very useful calculator in Maxwell and it's pretty hard to figure out how this thing works. Uh, it, ca it can calculate a lot of cool things that you're looking for and you can't find those in the results sections such as flux density, uh, sorry, the flux, amount of flux that passing through a surface, the divergence of something or you can calculate um, the, the, the average amount of a field passing through some object and uh, you know you can do a lot of like different type of calculation or you can export things out and uh, and uh, you can do like um, calculating the because what we have here is we have the density of the current uh, but you don't have the actual amount of current that goes through some um, some parts so with this one you can um, calculate like the amount of currents that is being inside you can calculate the loss in inductors that is not given to you so you can do a lot of things with the uh, with the calculator and you might say what the hell is calculator um, if you right click on the fields you can get to the calculator and you see this is this is what it looks like and um, it's 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 it comes with like a very weird shape I had some tutorials about this but it's kind of hidden in uh, between the tutorials so I'm gonna put the good titles on this video to make sure you guys are following um, this this video so now I'm gonna start with a couple of examples of using this calculator I'm using the uh, eddy current simulations that um, I have and in this video I'm gonna uh, focus on um, creating um, an average um, how to do an average with this look let's say the average of a magnetic field inside this object so how do we do that so first thing you want to do is you want to open up the field uh, calculator one more time and this time I want to make sure that my input is B so I go to the um, under the input uh, quantity and I want to select B so that's what I'm going to average it and then under the complex I want to make sure that I'm selecting sorry under the complex I want to make sure that I'm um, selecting the the real part of the B I'm not interested in the imaginary you can go with the imaginary as, as well but this is um, first you go with the real and uh, then uh, you go with the magnitude under the thing should be under vector magnitude and then um, um, then you want to go uh, with the geometry and then you select um, over the whole core for example and then um, you want to go to the scalar and say okay I want to now do an integral uh, over over the uh, over the core now I'm gonna go to the input one again and this time I want to say number sorry number and um, I want to put times one pressing OK and then under the geometry I want to select core again and uh, I want to do an integral and now I have the volume and at the same time I have the b dot v integral of b dot v now what I'm gonna do is I wanna divide b dot v integral over volume and that will give me the the average value right so that's how I'm gonna do that and I'm pressing uh, so now this this is on the top stack this one is the bottom so when you divide this will be divided by this. It's it's kind of counterintuitive when you're looking at it, but the one on the top is is the latest in the queue. 
So I'm going to do a division here. So now you should get this um, uh, this weird thing. So um, it divides the integral of volume of core dot magnitude of real of the B by the volume of the core uh, times 1. Well, basically, when you do the volume of the core, you can't uh, do the integral alone. You have to do it d dot dot something. And so the integral is by 1, so it gives you the volume. So that's why the number comes from. And then here you have the volume of the core dot magnitude. So this is dot 1, this is dot magnitude. And so that will give you the, um, the amount of um, B. So I'm going to press uh, eval. And the amount of B uh, that is given to me is something about 36 um, millitesla. Okay, 36 millitesla. So um, you can save this. If you do undo, oops, um, I guess you can't. Wait, um, you should have been able to undo that. So you can roll up and then you can eval that. Okay, yeah, so you can roll up. So I don't care about these scale values and I can um, add this under an um, average of B, right? And I add that and clear this. So if I go and select average of B and I want to copy it to a stack, and if I evaluate, that's that's the number you get, which is good. So now later on, when you are running an optometric um, parametric simulations, you can actually plot the average of uh, B over like different value of the currents that you apply to this core. Okay, so this basically um, um, explains how you can do an average. Um, uh, I, I hope that you uh, uh, found it useful. Um, in another video, I'm going to talk about like how to calculate um, the use the fill-in uh, calculator to find the current, um, flux, divergence, and more things. So stay tuned and I will be back with uh, more videos.